Hello everybody. Well, I'm a hunting spiders. Yeah, I like spiders. You know I like hornets if you watch my channel. But um, today I'm hunting spiders. It's uh, the 2nd of, uh, Ju of July here in Japan. And the huntsman spiders should be getting pretty big. Not at their full size yet, but uh, still pretty impressive already. And this is just the place to find them. They yeah, uh, are basically an abandoned road like this. With lots of green on either side. And if you walk really slow, you can uh, catch the uh, sight of the big guys and other things as well. Uh, and uh, big guys and gals. And I'm going to try and set this up. I'm going to try something different this year. Although I don't have the uh, incredible macro capability of my old Zaki. That camera's died. The uh, new Panasonic that I'm using has a very, very good um, uh, 40 times optical zoom. And I'm going to try something I've never done before. If I can spot the Huntsman from a distance, I'm going to try to stand back and zoom in and try to catch the spider action without disturbing them too much. Be a new uh, attempt for me. Maybe we'll see some other stuff as well. So if you're game, come along with me as we head up this road and see if we can find some big spiders. Here we go. Okay, friends. Well, I've uh, spotted my first Huntsman. It's not an enormous one, but it's still quite big. It would be a, a spe specimen quite intimidating in anyone's house. It's hiding under a leaf right now. And this is going to be my first attempt to uh, try to zoom in close and see if we can spot it hiding under the leaf. It's uh, there, just under that leaf there. You can see the uh, dead uh, fern above. I don't know if that's a fern, but can you see the spider just below the leg? There it is. It saw me and it dashed under that uh, leaf. There I am at maximum zoom right now. And I'm probably a good uh, eight feet back from the spider. Plenty of room if it was to come out. I could uh, get a nice shot of it. Try to get in a little bit closer, and maybe we can see it uh, doing some action. Well, I uh, discovered that the uh, camera's focus ability uh, loses, it, it basically can't focus when I'm in too close if I zoom in maximum. So we're going to go in the handheld now and see if we can uh, entice the spider to uh, move a little bit from its uh, safe abode there. Oh, I don't see it there. Well, now it's moved a little bit underneath the leaf. Let's go in and take a look. Now they're very fast spiders. These are hunting spiders. See if I can try to zoom in a little bit. See the legs there. Uh, very, very uh, active hunters. They, they do jump. Whoa, there it goes, there it goes. It went down deep into the brush. I think I've lost, I think I've lost that one. They're, uh, they're very quick, apt to move and jump, so you have to be a little cautious. I've had one that's uh, jump at me before. <laughs> Not that they'll do much damage. Let's keep, keep up the road, see if we can find something else. Go. There's a hornet just under this leaf right here. I wonder if it'll pop out. It's not the giant. I only got a, a glimpse of its abdomen. I wonder what it's doing down there. I wonder if it'll come back out. Let's go in handheld, shall we? Although probably as soon as... Oh, there. Did I see it? Probably as soon as it spots me, it'll dart away. Oops. Guess I can get behind this leaf here. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes. There it is, gone. Oh, the there. There it is, right there. Can you see it? Is that really a hornet? See it right there? Uh, I'm losing my zoom. Let's pull back a little bit. I can't quite get it. There it is on that bush. Let's see if it can. I'm sure it'll fly away. Make it closer. Oh, there it Whoa! <laughs> that is a very curious one indeed. Came close. Very interesting. Let's see if we can zoom in now. See it right under the bush there? Ah, oh, too bad I can't hold the resolution. I can't hold the focus. Very strange. Look at that. That may not be a hornet. I can't uh, get a good enough look at it to identify it. Look at the uh, long, thin abdomen. The uh, hornets and wasps and uh, ants have a lot in common in terms of the way their bodies are divided up. The uh, structure of the, uh, the division between the abdomen and the thorax. I'm losing my focus again. There we go, there we go. That's a beautiful creature. Let's see if we can move in just a little bit. I'm going to lose focus there. Very uh, beautiful specimen for sure. And now you're all zoomed in on me. Let's keep on going. One trick when doing this kind of thing is to move really slow, 
stop from time to time and let the life resolve out into you. There's been times that I've done this. I stopped in a place like this, stood here with the green all around me. I remember one time I did this, stood there, and over time, the uh, the shapes of giant spiders would make themselves they're known. I remember one time I did this, I discovered one green huntsman over here, very close to my face. Kind of looked over here, just a wall of green, another green huntsman, and then some uh, brown stuff behind. Look back, a brown huntsman. All three of them were <laughs> like they had me surrounded. So sometimes uh, you don't even have to go very far. Just stop and have a look, and you never know. Is that enticing up there? That uh, bamboo up there, that's the uh, place of a hidden waterfall I once videotaped. Let's keep on going. This is a, a splendid place to find spiders, so I haven't seen any yet. But I have found the kind of thing that they would be roaming these broad leaves looking for, right over here. Uh, grasshoppers and crickets are uh, excellent uh, prey for such spiders. Although their jumping ability can make uh, can test even the uh, speed and grasping ability of uh, the fastest spider. There's one sitting on a, a leaf right there. If there was a huntsman about, this would be a, a likely target. All right, I've just spotted another huntsman. One of the great things about this zoom is that I can uh, show it to you without getting in too close to disturb it. It hasn't moved yet. And uh, though I won't be able to get a really good close-up shot, I can show you the way that they uh, just can hang on the leaf sometimes. You have to watch closely. Can you see it there now? This spider is bigger than look. There it goes, just around the leaf corner. Uh, it's probably making too much noise. It was just right there. There are probably uh, lots of similar spiders all throughout this greenery. If you just uh, move slowly and carefully, you can spot them. Well, I'm um, getting into a dark area here, and mosquitoes are out, and I don't like to cover up. That would be a good way to protect myself from mosquitoes. I could put on mosquito stuff, but I'm, I don't have any, and <laughs> I always forget. So I'm going to use this. This is uh, Katori Senko. It's a Japanese, uh, uh, it's basically a natural, it's derived from a natural plant, or plant product compound. I'm no chemist, I don't know. But it's uh, basically uh, a mosquito repellent. And you'll ignite it as I'm doing, over, overly so. This one end, and it will burn in the coil around the edge there. It'll last about eight hours, and um, I keep these with me when I'm uh, hiking, and when I'm going to stop for an extended period of time. And uh, you know, to keep it from burning me, you see how the uh, smoke comes out. That's what keeps the mosquitoes away. You put it in this uh, little tray here. It's got a screen, and it's got a uh, a lid right here. Put it over the top. It fits on there. Like this. See the smoke coming out? Hopefully it won't go out. And then I'll angle the camera down and I can show you how I can just uh, hook it on my side of my belt. Sorry for the skin exposure. <laughs> no one needs to see that. Oh, there's a hook right here. There we go. Hook it on right there. And there we go. And now this will keep the mosquitoes away. Now I'll be far enough away from the spiders and the, the bushes that the Kaltori Senko probably won't impact them very much. And so I'll still have a good chance. Whoa, that was delightful. And uh, there's an amazing leaf that floated down like a fairy was riding it, kind of angling in the wind like a uh, like a, uh, a like a fairy chariot. Did I just say fairy chariot? Let's look for some spiders. Not a spider, but a uh, very beautiful insect, nevertheless. Let's take a look. Isn't that nice? There we go. Lovely. I love that red head. The antenna is probably sensing for uh, odors on the wind. Perhaps looking for a mate. Okay. Inside this stream, there's a curious creature. Let's take a look. Try to go in hand stream. Hopefully, it won't fly away. Right here on this leaf. All right, notice me. Yes, what are you? I love those uh, glossy wings. 
very nice. You had better watch out. I know there's some big spiders about. They might look at you as a, a fine opportunity for a meal. If you're not careful. Look at those eyes. Splendid. They're quite large. Look at it compared to my finger here. Look at the move. Oh, there it goes. Oh, fly. <laughs> Sorry. There's a, a small orb weaver consuming its prey. But here's my voice. Can't seem to quite focus on it though. Got a little fly there, but I can't focus. <laughs> Enjoy your meal. There's a uh, pleasant enough snail with a home under the uh, a protective leaf here. Isn't that nice? There we go. Oh, nice resolution there. Oh, let's keep that focus. Oh, come on, focus. You can do it, camera. There we go. Beautiful. Right under the shade of that leaf there. A little leaf with a view. There's a colorful beetle. Oh, a beautiful a green. Can you see me? Wow. There he goes. <laughs> and over here, a caterpillar. Or two. It's a, a caterpillar a club. Can't quite focus on you guys, though. Hmm. Your uh, doings will remain a fuzzy, uh, fuzzy consideration. Oh, and more caterpillars over here. Ooh, we'll follow the deer. There you are. Can you see any spiders? Wow, here in this piece, uh, dark glade here. I found a proto spider. Let's see if we can get a good look. You see the top of the sleeve? See the little legs? These are called the daddy long legs in the west. Whoops, they made it run. Whoopsie, there it goes, there it goes, jumping down. Come here, you. Let's see if I can get it on my hand here. They move. This can move very fast. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Running like the wind there. I got it, I got it. Here we are. I'll try not to hurt it. Oh! <laughs> There we go, there we go, there we go. It's walking on my hand now, see? This is a proto-spider. It's not a true spider. True insects have three body segments. Spiders have two body segments. A head. Insects have head, thorax, and abdomen. Spiders have a uh, cephalothorax, head and uh, thorax together in an abdomen. And uh, proto-spiders like this have a single body segment, or it's so fused to make the creation of one, I'm not completely sure. See, it's just like one piece there as it climbs up my arm. I'm going to uh, to visit my face. I'm going to walk on my face here to go back down. Very, very interesting. I see these a lot up here. Very nice. Walking. All about taking a walk on me the way I take a walk in your woods. Let's see, let's let you go here. On this plant where I found you. It's a much better place to wander than on me. There we go. There you go. There you go. Okay. It's dropped off into the weeds there. Very nice. This is a great place to find stuff. But uh, I'm losing light and I'll have to be going home soon.
and now the rain begins to fall gently. Just a perfect afternoon in the mountains. to break the webs. Sometimes it's the only way through. I'm sure the big spiders are everywhere in here. Watching me as I search for them. Haha, <laughs> look at I just put my head through a web here. <laughs> Can you see it? You can't even see it, it's invisible. Oh here, look at this spider. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, very lovely. That's not an orb, that's not a golden orb weaver. It's something slightly different. Oh, for my Zachis, my old zoom. 
Sorry, I can't focus, guys. Let me hold it still. Let me get a focus thing. I guess an out of focus spider is better than no spider at all. <laughs> I'm glad you came with me. This is a, a special spot. The uh, meadow beyond. Meadow, my mind. It's not a meadow. It's a wild tangle beyond. It beckons for exploration. Spiders everywhere. One more spider. Let's have a look. Let's visit this spider. This will be our last spider. Not a huntsman, but a golden orb weaver. There she goes. There she goes. There she goes. Guarding among. Bye bye. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Wow. Wow. Speaking away so high. Sorry to startle you. But it's uh, it's wild places like this that um, make the moments in between uh, so worthwhile. I've twice said before that I kind of go a little mad in these places in a good way. I'm an old man and uh, I am no longer able to, if I'm so lucky to live long enough to be no longer able to walk, to be infirm in a retirement home if that every day ever comes, it will be uh, these moments along with the moments of my courtship of my wife and my uh, fatherhood of my daughter and my brotherhood of my brother and my uh, childhood of my family and your spider's back. There she is. She came back very quickly, preparing her web. Whoa! <laughs> very dainty, aren't you? Those moments in addition to these will uh, be the uh, things that will keep my mind uh, occupied and the smile upon my face so that I'll probably, uh, say, I'm so lucky to live that old and I'm so lucky to live in a, in a retirement home where there's a bench, or if I'm living with my daughter, she wants me, and there's a little warm stone outside. Passerby will uh, perhaps uh, see me from time to time sitting there, and they'll uh, note a uh, curious smile on a, uh, the face of a, an old man with uh, nothing but cityscape perhaps to look at. And they may wonder, what's that old man, what's that goofy old man grinning about sitting there on his warm stone? sitting there on his bench watching the uh, street life go by and uh, they won't know it but I will have a, a, a lifetime worth of uh, memories similar to these videos but in my, my mental storage they'll be in 3D they'll be in surround sound they'll be in smell, smell vision touch vision I'll, uh, I'll feel the uh, moisture coming through my shoes right now as I've wetted my feet. I'll uh, feel the, uh, the biting prick of the mosquito bite. I'll smell the, uh, the mosquito incense rising from my burner and uh, surrounding me right now. I will um, know the uh, glisten of the sweat upon my brow and uh, feel the uh, breath moving in and out. Feel the drops of rain coming from the sky right now. It's starting to rain, never so gently, never so lightly. And uh, though I may seem to be staring off into space, that old man on the bench, that old man on the rock, my daughter will come home if I'm so lucky, or my uh, caregivers will uh, come to give me my meds. And they'll say, um, hey, Papa, or hey, Mr. Bell, what's up? And I'll uh, rise startled, oh, oh. <laughs> Hello, it's good to see you, friend. And no wonder where that uh, curious disposition, happy disposition comes from. And how can I explain that it was the uh, two hours uh, stolen away here and there within the week before the occupation of my life's 
vocation. Moving away from my life's vocation to the avocation of interest and love and uh, passion for what is wild and remote and, uh, and alive. And uh, that will be how my days will end in one scenario. Most likely it'll be a surprise in any way. And with that, friends, I'm going to say goodbye as I peek at you, as the spiders are peeking at me. I can barely see you. I can't see you at all, but you can barely see me as the spiders are watching me. And now I'll leave you with the flowing water for just a moment. You can hear the sound with me as we gaze through this spider web together at the moving water. Take care, everybody.